what you guys got another video here for you now if your dvd drive is not working or it's not recognized or it's just missing uh, on the actual computer itself then this video is for you now if you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification button to be notified when i upload new videos so let's first start off take a look here we can see our uh, cd-rom drive or dvd-rom drive is not being recognized here it's not being shown up and it's plugged in uh, to the computer you can either use a usb one or it's a uh, one that's plugged into the computer make sure it's not faulty in any way shape or form if it is okay and it's working then go to control panel by typing control panel in the search box and then what we're going to do from here is we're going to go to where it says hardware and sound under the category tab here now once you're inside here we want to go to devices and printers and we're going to look to see whether the DVD uh, ROM drive is running and it is visible inside here. You can see mine is visible. Now if you don't see it here, you can right click on here and you can add a device. And it will start to search for that device and see if it can detect it and pick it up if it's not visible there. And just run through this uh, process here. And hopefully it will detect your drive and start to... Uh, populate it and you'll see it there let's move on to another thing that we can try here we'll go back down to the search here type in here troubleshoot or trouble and you can now see the troubleshoot tab click on this one and it will open up you can see here plain audio and also have other bunch of stuff in here which you can run uh, tests on and troubleshoot hardware and devices is the one we're going to click on click on run troubleshooter it will run for a while you can apply the fix and then continue uh, with uh, this uh, step and it will try to uh, fix any problems uh, with the uh, computer that you're having with your drive so you can see here your PC must be restarted and it will then hopefully try to fix that issue so then restart your computer and hopefully you should be okay if not we're going to move on to something else we can try so right click on the start button and go to device manager inside here you'll see a bunch of devices and drivers that we can mess with so you can see let's go down to the dvd cd rom drive you can see it's uh, plugged in here and it's working uh, if you do see it here you can right click on this and also go to properties here and it will tell you the device is working properly you should see that there now at the top you'll see a driver tab you can click on that driver tab and it should give you some information about the driver that is using it's a 2006 driver and it's also driver version there Microsoft driver so you check the manufacturers website so I'm going to search online to see if there's a better driver for it you can see it says the best drivers installed you can also check Windows updates by clicking on that blue line below and check for Windows updates to see if there's a driver you can also click on this update driver here and there's a rollback driver here which you can roll back if you've updated the driver and it's not working so you can choose let me pick here and you should see a list of drivers here and you can choose the CD-ROM drive driver and install that driver from there as well. Now you can also see the uninstall uh, part there as well which we'll take a look at in a second. Now another thing you can try here if you're still having issues. Now looking down the list a little bit you can see IDE ATA is your TAPI controllers and also standard SATA AHCI controller there so right click on this and you can see you can update driver disable device and uninstall so if I click on uninstall here and uninstall this driver and reboot the system it will uh, should detect that driver okay and it sometimes can get messed up so if you do that sometimes it does work uh, but I'm just going to click, click cancel it but you want to uninstall that and try that now sometimes you may need to get the driver from the motherboard manufacturer's website and you can download the chipset drivers and put that back in and it should be okay and you should be good to go from there. Now another thing you can do is go to the uh, search box here and type reg edit, open up the registry editor and from here what we want to do is we want to go to a, a location so we can add in a registry so go to H key local machine then we want to go down to where it says system then go to current control set open that little pane up there and then you want to go to services from here we want to just scroll down uh, the list here so just come down 
And what we're looking for here is this one here, ATAPI. Click on this one. And what we need to do here is just add a new key inside here. So what we're going to do is on that folder, we're going to right click and we're going to add a new key. Now we need to give that key a name and we're going to call it controller zero. So just type it out as you see I'm doing here. Controller zero, as you see. Now we can highlight that uh, controller zero folder and then go over to the right hand pane here. Then we want to right click on here, go new D word 32 bit value. Then we need to give it a name. So we're going to call this one enum device one. And then we can click on this and uh, you can see it's in the controller zero folder. So make sure you're in there. Then double click on it and give it a, a value of one and click OK. And uh, what we're going to do next is uh, close this off. So we can just uh, go back and just close all these uh, trees back. So it's all back to normal. That way you keep it nice and tidy. There we go. And we can close off our registry editor. You want to give that a reboot. Now we can go to another location here. So we're going to go to H key local machine here system. Then go to current control set. Then we want to come down to where you say control. And down here we want to see class. And what you're looking for is a folder here. There's a lot of them here. So just have to really take care and look for the correct one. And I will put the uh, information up on the screen so you can see it. But you just have to search through here. I'm just looking through here myself. And I found it. It's this one here. So we'll put that number in the video description for you. You just need to search. It needs to be exactly that one. Okay. And when you find it. On the right hand pane you will see lower filters and upper filters now if you don't see upper filters and you just see lower filters that's okay just delete the lower filters okay but you want to delete both of those lower filters and upper filters so just right click on these click delete and hopefully that should be uh, the end of your problem and reboot the system they will be recreated so don't worry about it so we're just going to go away from here now and just close this up. There we go, we're finished with the registry editor. And what you want to do next is go to the manufacturer's website here and put in your motherboard manufacturer name and you can see I'm at MSI here. And you're looking for the chipset drivers here for the system but if you've got any missing drivers on that motherboard then there could be issues so make sure you download all the drivers from here and keep them updated and you can also use their utility to update but I'm just going to put the chipset drivers on just to make sure okay now another thing you can do is go back into device manager here and you can do these in no particular order just as long as you try and do all these things here go back inside here and look for your CD or DVD ROM drive, right click on this and uninstall uh, this one here just in case it's got corrupted and uninstall it. It will disappear. You can go to action and scan for hardware changes and it should be detected again. Now if you're still having issues, you can always try VLC and see if that works. VLC is a free piece of software that you can try and hopefully that fixes your problem. Now, if you still have any issues, maybe the problem lies with the actual device itself. Maybe it's failing. One of the lasers is packed up, the read or write laser, or maybe it's just not working at all uh, with certain disks. It could be loads of different reasons, uh, but you need to check to make sure everything is working okay. They're pretty cheap and affordable nowadays, so maybe swap it out and check test uh, with another one. But also, you may want to check that make sure your operating system is working uh, correctly. And you can always do a fresh install or something like that to try to see whether that rectifies the problem. And uh, hopefully uh, you should be back up and running. Anyway, that's about it for this video. I'm going to wrap this one up. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys. And thanks for your continued support. Have a lovely weekend. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, 
hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.